Hello everybody, so I decided to go today to go on the being consistent and the three rules, simple rules, to actually rule them because lately I got a lot of questions on how to be consistent, if I can do another video on consistency. So I decided to go on today and dive in into those three simple steps that you can follow right now and actually rule those uh, this consistency in everything that you decide to do and start to move the needle. So, uh, let's, say, uh, let's start. So, you know, sometimes I myself have those days and as you know, I, for the past year I have made more than 400 videos and today it's actually 401 um, on on the basics of a started with a challenge that I put up for myself, the 365 challenge. That means every day I did a video during a year. And I, in that way, I discovered how can you be consistent no matter what. And those simple little three rules is going to be uh, very simple. Okay, so <laughs> bear with me for a second here. So, and, and you know, I do have those days when I don't feel like it. Like I, I have this challenge and sometimes I don't know if I want to. And you know, for during that year, I had those days that I said to myself, I don't know if I have the energy to do something. I don't know if I want to get out of bed and even do a video today. I don't know what to post and stuff like that during all the time went inside my brain, especially at the start, because it wasn't a habit. My habit was, doing nothing, <laughs> especially when it comes to content, because I was afraid of generate content and actually being on camera. But that's another topic for another time. Um, and uh, yeah, there are those days that, you know, I come up a bit and sometimes, let's say, I don't feel like get out of bed. Sometimes I want to go and sleep some more. And then I remind myself the why and get driven, but again, that's not a topic here. The topic here, and yeah, sometimes I go around topics because <laughs> I have like a severe ADD. So I get like that, distracted. So bear with me for here for a second, okay? So what I wanted to tell you here is you can own this by actually implement those steps right now. And those steps is, the first one is become aware. Become aware to your problem because if you don't become aware to your problem, doesn't matter you will never get what you want why because let's say an obese person and i was obese so i know what i'm talking about here when i was obese i gave myself all the excuses to hey i'm not fat i just have huge bones <laughs> um no it's not a problem of diet i don't think so because i tr try to eat and i try to go follow my diet and it doesn't work nothing works for me i try thousands of diets and all that shit all those excuses that i gave to myself and that way i couldn't be consistent because i haven't been aware to the problem so the first step is become aware to your problem and then choose what are you focused on focusing on now what do i mean by focusing on because sometimes when we want to do something when we want to develop a new habit when we, when we want to stick with something we try tons of things at the same time for example lose weight uh wake up early going to sleep uh, um, early uh, doing some content out there, going to exercise, start a business, start to talk with people, and so on and so forth. And what happened is you become overwhelmed. I know I did. I did. And sometimes I do get overwhelmed. But today I narrowed it down to like that. Become aware to the problem and then choose one. And you got to get at that there is no fear of missing out because when you choose one, you're focusing it, you nail it, you master it, then you go to the second one. And by that, you become kind of master to yourself and to those habits and you become consistent because you have a method, because you have a system. Does that make any sense? If it does, I would love to know about it. So comment below, make sense. And if you watch the replay, just hashtag replay. So um, you, you just focus up become aware what is that problem that you want to nail is it creating new content 
Is it starting your own business? Is it starting to read books? Is it really be become aware to what is the specific thing you want to master and focus on the one thing? And let's make it even simple. Right now, think for a second and comment in the comment below what is the thing that you want to own right now? Because also when you're commenting below, you have that accountability that you gotta get it. And I'm here for you, so let's nail that. So comment below, what is it that you're going to rule right now? What is it that you want? What is that missing right now? Think about it. I will give you a few seconds. Awesome, so you got it? Awesome. First of all, I want to congratulate you on even doing that step because a lot of people don't do. They just talk, they just think, but you are doing it and you're nailing it. So, like I said, become aware and then write down below what is the thing that you choose to kind of focusing up. Get your focus. And I see people coming in. Hello, everybody. So, sec second step. We are diving in. And it's game time. And hey, those things that I'm sharing with you right now, keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> because this is a method for you to actually take it for everything that you want to own in your life. So the second step is game time, like I said. For the next 66 days, you choose to focus on one thing. Now, why 66 days? Because 66 days is the time that kind of are, they're coming a neurological uh, shift in our mind that we understand that bam, that's become habit. That's become habit. There is a shift in our side of mind when we actually do something consistent every day for 66 days. And that's proven by science. It's not something that I made up here. It's a thing that comes from a lot of research. And you're welcome to research it. So for 66 days, commit to the one thing you just become aware and decide that you're going to do. Now, sometimes it looks like, whoa, 66 days, and then that's too much. Maybe, but let's do it like break it apart. That means do it like weekly challenge that means every week you got to nail that no matter what for example if it's content e even if you haven't finished and it's 2 a.m you're doing it you're nailing it if it's go sleep early <laughs> so you go sleep early at 9 10 11 but not at 2 a.m no matter what no matter what is going on you're just nailing it every single day for a week and then you see you can own this. If you can own it for a week, you go for the second week, for the third week, for the fourth week. And you got those kind of mini, actually, achievements that you don't right now. And if it does, if it does make sense, I would love to hear about it. So again, comment below if it makes sense. Uh, if you're watching the replay, just hashtag replay that I know it makes sense to you. Now let's dive into the third one and the last one that is very important that's how you can actually rule the whole system and that is act act and celebrate not just act act and celebrate for example you wanted to start reading you have never been consistent on reading and you want to develop that so every morning let's say you give 10 minutes for reading and you just go and do it no matter what, the minute you wake up, you open the book and start reading. And after you did done that, celebrate that win. Show yourself that you made it and have fun with it. That's how you play to win in the game. Because you play to win, not to lose. And yes, sometimes you will have those slumps. Sometimes you will fall. And I, I do myself have those slumps from now and then. But for a week, do it no matter what. And then you see that you can own it. You're proving to yourself. You're proving to your mind. You showed there is proof that you can own this. And then you go to the second week, to the third week, until you nail it for 66 days. And hey, that's going, we are up to 2020. So let's make that year the best year of your life by start owning those things and being consistent, owning those habits that can make you 
the best version of yourself. So if you love this video and you're going to implement those steps, just comment below that I know that you are going up for it. Because like I said, let's be accountable for each other. Let's do that. Let's make that change right now. It's going to be a new year. Let's open up with the best chances that we have here and let's get to the best version of ourselves. So if you love this video, give me a thumbs up that I know that you want more content of it. And if you watch it on YouTube, just hit the subscribe button to never miss out an episode. And I really appreciate you being here, commenting, doing, liking, sharing. I love this energy. I love that you're doing it and you're nailing it. So I really appreciate you for that. And I believe in you and I know you can do it. That's why I go very, very deeply in my videos that like other mentors doesn't do. So uh, have a great day and a productive one. And I will see you next time. Have a great one. And if that helped you, share it with other people. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends that you want to help them to develop as well. And again, have an amazing day. I will see you next time.